We are here for a, uh, a very special occasion today. And uh, this uh, moment that we're about to witness is um, a uh, important celebration and uh, time of witnessing for a new Christian, uh, and that's baptism. Caleb here has decided to be baptized and give his life to Christ, and uh, I'm overjoyed that he's made this decision. Um, God has been moving in his life. Um, he's been blessed by um, wonderful, godly grandparents, and uh, I know they're overjoyed today, too. Um, yeah, this is... <laughs> You know, this, it really is a special day, especially when a, a young person gives their life to Christ and makes that commitment to continually uh, walk with Jesus and seek his guidance and growth in him. So, um, you know, I'd like to read a few things here uh, relating to baptism, and I would just ask Caleb to um, respond to each one of these statements. And the first one is, I believe there's one God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, a unity of three co-eternal persons. I accept the death of Jesus Christ on Calvary as the atoning sacrifice for my sins and believe that through faith in his shed blood, I am saved from sin and its penalty. Amen. I renounce the world and its sinful ways and have accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Savior, believing that God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven my sins and given me a new heart. Amen. I accept by faith the righteousness of Christ, my intercessor in the heavenly sanctuary, and accept his promise of transforming grace and power to live a loving, Christ-centered life in my home, and before the world. I believe that the Bible is the inspired word of God, the only rule of faith and practice for the Christian. I covenant to spend time regularly in prayer and Bible study. And just a reminder here, friends, um, these are very similar to the baptismal vows uh, that you might have taken. So not only is this a time for uh, affirmation of Caleb's faith, but it's something for each one of us to consider as it's read to and, and even make an own personal recommitment in our own hearts. I accept the Ten Commandments as a transcript of the character of God and a revelation of his will. It is my purpose by the power of the indwelling Christ to keep this law, including the Fourth Commandment, which requires the observance of the seventh day of the week as the Sabbath of the Lord and the memorial of creation. I look forward to the soon coming of Jesus and the blessed hope when this mortal shall put on immortality. As I prepare to meet the Lord, I will witness to his loving salvation and by life and word help others to be ready for his glorious appearing. I accept the biblical teaching of spiritual gifts and believe that the gift of prophecy is one of the identifying marks of the remnant church. I believe in church organization. It is my purpose to support the church by my tithes and offerings and by my personal effort and influence. I believe that my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit and will honor God by caring for it avoiding the use of that which is harmful, abstaining from all unclean foods, from the use, manufacture, or sale of alcoholic beverages, the use, manufacture, or sale of tobacco in any of its various forms for human consumption, and from the misuse of or trafficking in narcotics or other drugs. I know and understand the fundamental Bible principles as taught by the Seventh-day Adventist Church. I purpose by the grace of God to fulfill His will by ordering my life in harmony with these principles. I accept the New Testament teaching of baptism by immersion and desire to be so baptized as a public expression of faith, 
in Christ and his forgiveness of my sins. I accept and believe that the Seventh-day Adventist Church is the remnant church of Bible prophecy and that people of every nation, race, and language are invited and accepted into its fellowship. I desire to be a member of this local congregation of Pittsburgh of the Worldwide Church. Amen. You know, friends, um, we had that evangelistic series uh, back a few months ago, and uh, Caleb was there for, for many meetings. And uh, it was after that series and the, the wonderful messages that were preached that he was, um, you know, he, he approached uh, me and a few others about it. He said, you know what, I want to be baptized. And so in those moments during the evangelistic series, uh, Caleb's heart was being touched by the Lord. And I, I'm very thankful for that. Um, and uh, it's been a, a pleasure getting to know Caleb, too. He, um, uh, one day, uh, stopped over and we had a Bible study on, a, on one of the more complex topics, we believe. Um, it's the 2300-day prophecy and some things with the investigative judgment. Um, and uh, we studied those things because, you know, in preparation for baptism, we covered everything. He, he has a good understanding of things. And then when we got to the 2300 days, he's like, I got some questions about that. So we actually, uh, we studied that and uh, had a good Bible study. And then we, uh, we went and worked on his, his tractor a little bit after that. That was fun. <laughs> we jump-started it with my car and, uh, well, tried to jump-start it. But uh, it still needs a little, little work done on it. So if anyone uh, has some uh, automotive work, Caleb might be learning more in the future and, and be able to help someone out. He can be the, uh, the church junior mechanic right now. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I would like to uh, recommend that we accept Caleb into church fellowship through the baptism which he's about to experience uh, into the Seventh-day Adventist Church and into the local Pittsburgh congregation. Uh, do we have a motion to welcome in him into both of those? We have a motion. We have a second. Um, any discussion on that? All right. All in favor, say aye. aye. Raise your hand with a hearty aye. Amen. So uh, we're going to head right up here and... Uh, Baptize Caleb. So this is a very special moment, friends. Um, throughout the Christian uh, eras, we've seen people baptized, committing their life to Christ. And Jesus himself was even baptized. Um, I would also like to ask everyone, um, for Caleb's family and friends here, would you stand in this moment uh, as we baptize him? Just go ahead and, and stand up as a, as a sign of support. Family and friends here. All right. Caleb. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. All right. And if there's anybody here who is uh, interested in moving toward baptism, uh, just get in touch with me or one of the elders, and we'll, uh, we'll take that road together. Thank you.